hello everybody welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video today my name is Laura and I work on cruise ships if you do want to see more then please do follow me on Instagram at girl going global today I'm going to be talking about Civitavecchia which is the gateway to Rome when you are on a cruise ship good morning everybody welcome to Civitavecchia how do you say it Civitavecchia Civitavecchia. Civi. So, Thor, cruises always come to Civitavecchia and you always think you need to go to Rome. So, we're going to show you, well, you don't have to go to Rome. Well, we're also going to experience if that is the case because I've never really come to Civitavecchia. So, we're going to have a lovely day exploring. So, come with us today. absolutely amazing but if you didn't want to do the whole hog of going to Rome and you just wanted a bit more of a chillaxed day then Chivi Chivecchia still does have some things to do and in particular today I'm going to be talking about the restaurants so I've got five top restaurants to go to in Chivi Chivecchia number one is a delicious wine bar Sebastiani what pulled me in was the five euros for a glass of wine and bruschetta. I sat outside with my friends. Al fresco dining is the absolute one. Watch the world go by, soak up the ambiance. Inside is a really bougie kind of wine bar, but highly recommend going there. And this here is the vino and bruschetta spot. five places to eat at in Civitavecchia is Cavalia Merenda. Really cute place and you kind of only know about it if you know about it. If you've done like your research online, it's like this gorgeous cute garden, absolutely stunning, like courtyard area. I kind of like described it as a little secret garden. The food there was so fresh, so good, wine and brunch style, but they do loads of different foods as well and it just feels really fresh, good and healthy, whilst also drinking wine. Really recommend it if you are in Chippy Chippy Is it good? Is it good? Is it good? Grazie. Wow, look at this. Vegan and veggie. So if you're veggie, look, every like place that is cool, isn't it? It has that little stuff on the back if you want to Instagram or Facebook. Do all have I had a nice coffee like this since I got here? No. <gasps> Matches with my dress. Yeah, see, it's the same pattern. It's hidden away. It's just on the street. You wouldn't even see it. No. It's literally just a side street. Three drink Dean. One, two, three. It's just a cute place. I'd highly recommend. I think this is one of my favourite places so far. That you found? Yeah. A secret hideaway. Yeah, it's like a secret garden. A little it's secret, so secret. Secret garden. It's reasonable price as well. Really? I think the pancakes were four euros. Pancakes four euros in London that would be like twelve. But easy. And then the toast. Our toast was only five euros. I think six euros max. And that would be ten. It's a tick from me. And it's a tick from me. <laughs> okay, number three on my top five places to eat at in Civitavecchia is Lucky Sushi. So Lucky Sushi is all you can eat sushi, but there is a catch. <laughs> and the catch is that if you don't eat those plates, you pay like a set fee. So I think I paid like 18, 19 euros for a limited amount of sushi. Bearing in mind, by the way, then I didn't even like sushi, but that's what got me into it because there's so many different types. Like even if you don't eat fish, there's like these avocado cream cheese sushis. The catch is that if you don't eat everything, if you leave dishes, you have to pay for the dishes, which at first I was like, are you joking? You having a laugh? But it makes sense because you just don't over order then, even though every single time I went, I came out feeling like, double my size because I'd eaten that much but it was so good such good food yet you can sit outside again which is a tick for me because alfresco dining good value 18 euros or 19 euros for 
as much as you can eat unless you don't eat it. But that was really fun and I recommend that if you like sushi. The next one wasn't the best for food, but sometimes it doesn't really matter about the food if you've got the views and the ambiance. So right on the seafront um, is a cute little place which does like pizzas, it also does wines and aperols. Me and the girls had some pizzas, it was okay. It wasn't the best pizza in the world, go to Naples for that. <laughs> but the views were great, it had music pumping, the beach was just there, it was very vibey, atmosphere was on point when we went anyway. So, which is why I'm including that in this video today. Oh, I will also say that the restaurant along the seafront is right near to the big famous statue, so you can obviously also take your photo there as well when you go. Number five was, I think, my favourite. It was so good. We went to this gorgeous little place within like these fort walls. Had the best white wine I think I've ever had. Very cute views over the fort and just like a nice atmosphere along that area. There's a few different restaurants and the one that we went to was delicious and they were really lovely as well there. So tick for the staff. So we're in the turrets. We're at tables 805. Dean has asked for, so everywhere we go in Italy we always get lemoncello spritzes but they didn't have it so Dean just asked them to make one for him. And what is it? It is, oh, this is a test you just told me. It's Prosecco, soda water and lemoncello. Salute. Salute. So smooth, so refreshing and also quite sweet. Mm. Salute. Creviti. Pecorino. Citrus? No citrus, yeah. It's a citrus? Yeah. Oh, you're smelling it. Getting the aromas. It smells like lime soil. <laughs> 2021 autumn. Guys, you've got to come to Sora Maria in Chibichibekia. He's literally waiter, Francesco, yeah. is the friendliest waiter. And all of that, we had three glasses of wine, a, a lemoncello spritz, um, bru garlic bruschetta, roast potatoes. Roast potatoes. Do we have anything else? Uh, I guess that's quite really nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's <was> 30 bucks. <laughs> break it down I guess it was actually okay. We thought it was mega cheap but actually. But it's for the view and everything as well. Yeah. From Chivichebeca actually I've also gone to Tuscana which is completely different to Tuscany but that's just another option if you didn't want to go to Rome but you know that there are kind of things to do places to eat at in Chibitvecchia if you didn't fancy going all the way to Rome for the day. But thank you so much for watching this video. Please do give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any other suggestions in Chibitvecchia. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now. Ciao.